Hi, welcome to another uh, tutorial uh, using Bo uh, Divi Body Commerce or Divi and WooCommerce. So this this time we're going to go run through the account uh, section of of WooCommerce. So let's just go to um, our just our dummy store with Divi installed. This is what the account looks like by default. Looks pretty horrendous if you ask me. You have the dashboard. You have your orders. You have your downloads, addresses, account details, and you can log out. So it's pretty, it's pretty horrible if you ask me. So we've created the ability to customize this account area using the Divi Builder. So the way you need to kind of understand how this works is you have the navigation and then you have the content. So for the dashboard you have the navigation and then you have the dashboard content. For orders, the navigation stays the same but the orders content changes. Okay? That's how the account area works. So if you go to uh, Divi Engine Body Commerce account pages, here we have the layout for the account navigation, which is this bit. We have the uh, template for the dashboard, orders page, edit account, my addresses, downloads, and so on. So, first things first, uh, let's start off with the with the account navigation. So we go to Divi, Divi Library, and we add new account account nav I want this to be a I don't know a row a row I guess don't really know let's just try a row it can be a layout section row it doesn't really matter I always like to just keep it like to without having the section because the, the, basically the section will add padding and stuff so if you just do a row it won't add the padding uh, okay anyway so We've created some modules for you, and these are all the ones in green. So we have addresses, downloads, edit accounts, account navigation, orders, welcome message. So you can first try the account navigation, which I think does well, but there's another way you can do it as well. So account navigation, uh, if you want a title above it, you want it, you, you can. I'll just leave it blank, and the text, so left. Let's just leave it as that. Update the page. Go to your See, I'm working in two tabs. I'm working in my layout and then my account page, you know, just to make things quicker. Now, if I go to the account navigation layout and select my account nav, save the page, you'll see it will change. It looks exactly the same, doesn't it? That's because it's in a list. So if you want it like that, you can, but I don't really like it like that. So we've created an option to have it as a uh, button and now it will show its buttons and this padding over here is annoying me a bit so I'd imagine that's on here so we can make for width and 100% Update, and you will see. There we go. Now, there's two ways to do it. You could have left it. You could have left it not for width, and then use. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to do that. Let's make it not for width. Let's just leave it the way it was, and go to body combo settings, and then make account page for width. Yes. Save the page. So now this will stay where it is, but then this orders will go all the way to the full width. Yeah, so you see. What I don't like also is this title at the top. So you can say, remove default woo headings, yes. Remove account notices. Uh, you can leave that, you can remove it, but let's just leave it for now. And we'll work through it slowly. So we re reload the page, and there we have our buttons. Again, you can make it inline so they go next to each other which also looks pretty cool and then you can add padding and stuff you know to all of them 
Now, another option, and this is what where you can decide which way you want to go, is to go create a new menu. And we're going to create the account. We're going to call this account. And on there, we're going to um, select these endpoints. WooCommerce endpoints. So we have orders, downloads, addresses, account details, logout, log outs. We'll leave lost password there. And um, addresses. I mean, uh, uh, yeah. And then uh, other one is dashboard. So you can have it as. Uh, uh, the dashboard really is my account that's where the dashboard is so we're going to save that just so you know we've also given you these links if you ever want the links so it's my account forward slash orders my account you know if you want to manually do it uh, so I've created the menu now let's just leave that let's go back and I want to add a new account nav account nav 2 and I want this to be a full width section it's another idea it's up to you what you want to do and then in here I want to have a full width menu and in there I select account save update go to your oh, I need to reload the page Nav 2, save, go to your, and there we have our forward menu. And as you can see, it's on it's on the left hand side, it's not in the center. Now, why is that? Well, let's just check at the body combo settings. And what we have is we have the navigation position set to left and then on top. So, just to show you, if we go to uh, like my accounts the dashboard you'll see it's on the left on the right hand side left and right so we want to set it to top because we want the full width menu at the top and click save and then you'll see now there it is at the top so that's the navigation done now let's move to our dashboard dashboard looks pretty bland hello engine from your account dashboard you can view recent orders blah 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 so let's add a new account dash let's make this a section in here we have uh, I guess you can use all the, all the modules you want but we have a little welcome message so we can say like welcome comma and it will use the person's uh, display name uh, we can have you can do all sorts you can just some ideas you can put promote promotions there you can have like sales banners anything on the account page that kind of just like you know if you want to push people a certain way you can you can put stuff on there uh, you can put recent orders on there I'm just going to use recent orders for now because I don't really have any sales, you know, banners or anything that I've created. All right, so let's go to the dash, uh, the Divi Engine Body Commerce account pages and select account dash as our account dashboard layout. Save the page. And there we go. Welcome, Engine. And there's my recent orders. Again, it's pretty bland, but you guys can. We, we can all start it, do you know what I mean? Like, and, and again, I'll, I'll do t tutorial on all this. So orders is much the same. You see it's all like that. We just create a new layout called account orders section. Yeah, body commerce. And again, you can add anything you want. Uh, and you can just insert the module. Now, the reason why I would you know say we can we can do this is because with the Divi Builder you can add you know you can add all sorts you can add shadow so let's just add a box shadow you can add 
background color you know so you can do all these kind of things oh, I need to say this uh, so that's why using Adobe Builder it makes it it's very flexible with what you can do you know so that's uh, that's the orders page uh, and then you have downloads, addresses, account details, they're all much the same and you have all the different uh, modules for these things. Uh, so that's that's the account section. Uh, I think the only other sentence ready to go through is uh, if you want if you don't if, if you're not using full width then you if you want the endpoints to not be full, so it matches the Divi sections, enable this. This doesn't overwrite the above setting, which is this uh, this full width. If you enable this, it'll make 80% of the percentage above, if that makes sense. So, pretty much this. So, if you're using left and right, and you make this 20%. If you have other endpoint endpoints, so there's endpoints like that some plugins add or whatever that would look weird because there is no module or uh, you, there is no option to set it over here you know then you can have this and you can make it full width and you can set padding so for example we had, we, we had a customer who had a booking plugin and then the booking plugin added another section uh, on the account area for bookings and when they had this it looked it went full width and it didn't didn't match all the rest of them so you, you use this this is for when you use these settings. If you'd like to know more about that just get in touch with me and I can we can help you. Okay so that's the account page. Uh, if there's anything any questions again any any again any questions email uh, support tickets or comment below and we'll get in touch. Uh, yeah and I hope you have a great day and let's let's uh, yeah let's speak soon. Cheers.